project. Hi guys, a very warm welcome from Archithi Creations. You have just seen the beautiful Meenakari painting that we've made. So let us now discuss what all material you need. First and the foremost is a piece of plywood. Now or an MDF. This MDF is 20 cm by 15 cm. You can take a bigger or a smaller size depending upon the availability. Second what you need is white acrylic color. So you can use white acrylic color or you can use a gesso or any medium or primer to do a base coat on this. The third thing that you need is a 3D liner. I'm using a Fabicryl 3D liner. This is a golden color Fabicryl 3D liner. Next we need our glass colors. So here I'm using camel. Uh, uh, solvent based glass colors these come in a pack of six and I'll be using five of these shades for doing my painting we need an old brush and we need kundan I'm using only white color kundan here and to stick the kundan I'm using fabric glue you can also use any kind of white so this is the material that we need so let us quickly get started where we will be doing Meenakari work onto this piece of wood now this is an MDF piece which is approximately 2 to 3 cm thick. Now let me tell you the dimensions. This is approximately 20 cm by 15 cm piece. You can take a bigger or a smaller piece depending upon the MDF piece which is available with you. I have taken out my white acrylic color, normal white acrylic color. You can take out texture paste or you can take out Yes, so whatever you have and I'm just going to do a white coat on it a good thick white coat on it on which we will do the tracing I will just show you how you're going to do that so just do a good coat of acrylic color and let it dry completely now see I have completely done my color leave it to dry completely and then we are going to do the tracing now after my white dried up i have done this tracing on this basically i have drawn it with a red pen because with the white pen it was not visible now this particular picture of the tracing is available on my fb page so you can just download it from there and trace it onto your paper now i'm taking a fabricryl 3d outliner so we are going to start from the top side now when you're doing this try to ensure that the lines are of the same thick consistency and preferably there are no joints in between be very careful when you are using your liners because these liners dry up very slowly yeah. like this this part if you want to get it framed it might go in the framing if you just want to use it directly hang it then you can completely fill up this part with golden color as well Now if you are very new to this, then you should practice with the liner a little bit to ensure that your lines come perfectly straight and there are lesser uh, marks, joint marks. So then the painting is going to look very beautiful. Now here also we are going to go with drops in golden but I am going to just finish the lotus below and then we are going to be giving this.
See now my golden has completely dried up. It takes approximately 12 hours for it to dry. Now I'll be using my glass colors. Now I have solvent based colors. You can use water based colors as well. In solvent based colors mainly 6 colors are available. So here we'll start with doing the peacock body and I'm taking out my green but that is moss green and blue. For that I'll take a little quantity out in my plate and we will start. These are glass colors so they'll give a very fine, very glossy finish in the end. So I've taken out a little quantity of blue and green and we can mix them also. Use an old brush to do all this because your brush is going to ruin, get ruined by the end. This is a peacock bluish color that we have created. I'm going to be using this color in the neck area. Be very careful not to do any color on the golden line. Now this way top portion we've done. Now let us start with the lower portion. Now in for the lower portion, what here I want to do a shade for this part. You can directly use it from the nozzle as well. Like this. Sometimes you know it comes on the golden line, so just be a little careful about it. Now in this part, I'm just doing, this is a white transparent that I have. I can just create a very light shade of blue here. I don't want the dark blue, so I'm just going to put a drop of blue. So it's going to create a gradation in my blue color. There should be no bubbles, okay? Try that there are no bubbles when you are doing. If you find that there are bubbles, I've kept a safety pin with me. I'm just going to pierce them in case we find any bubbles. Just merge it. So a beautiful light blue color is also done here. Now we come to the tail portion of the peak. Now for the tail portion of the peacock, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm taking my shade of green. So here we will be creating 2-3 gradations of color. So what I'm going to be doing is, in the upper part, first I'm putting a little white. And we'll put little green in this, okay, like this. And in the lower portion, I'm going to put blue. You just merge it so that there is no particular simple line that is visible and here also just merge it so we have three shades it starts from a light green and goes towards the dark blue yes
अब थोड़ा ग्रीन इज लेस तो हमने मुझे स्पूरे ले ग्रीन है सो दिस वे से एंड जो बबुल्स हैं हम जिसको नो रिमूव माई बबुल्स है Now we are going to do similar kind of a shading here also. Okay, now. And what I'm going to be doing it is here it's going to be pure. I'm using the shade which is ruby red, and again this is transparent color, and we will be using them to do our lotus. Now this one, merge your lotus. beautiful the lotus So now see my glass colors have dried completely. What we are going to do is now I'm using kundan. I'll show you. This is the kundan. White kundan only I'll be using, and this is a fabric glue. Fabric glue is a thicker glue, so I'll be using that, and we'll be sticking kundan.
Now in this way our beautiful painting is ready. Do like our video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the notification button so that you can be notified as soon as we put a new video or our live on our channel. Thanks for watching and bye.